Hello and welcome to the video. This is the first look at something that's just been released from Cadix FPV and the Walksdale guys. This is the new Protoss system. Now I'm going to go through all of the gubbins in here. This is kind of an all-in-one, really aimed at those people who want to get into the hobby and who want everything in one box. It has the controller, we have a set of goggles, we have the batteries for both the goggles and also for the little quad. We have the little quad and we even have the charger in here as well. And don't worry, I'll kind of show you a little bit closer all these different pieces. And it all comes in this fab little case so that you can keep it nice and safe and walk around with it. However, we're kind of burying the leads a little bit. Why am I burying the leads a little bit? Well, the HD system that's in this little quad and in this set of goggles is not Avatar. It's not the Walksdale system that we've known and loved for the past two or three years. It is what appears to be their latest system. So I want to kind of give you a quick overview of this. I've only had this about four or five days I'm recording this, but I know loads of people will be interested in it. I think it's really interesting that Cadix and Walksdale have decided to kind of address the market. It's actually not super expensive either, considering the fact that you get the radio, the goggles, the quad, the batteries and everything, it's all in one. It's actually not a ridiculous price point. So I think they've been quite aggressive in trying to buy the low end of the market for people wanting to play with a quadcopter. Plus, this little quad is not running Betaflight or iNav. It's one of those that has some extra little tricks up its sleeve. So it'll do things like position hold. It has an optical flow center at the bottom. Um, and with the three batteries that are in here, you'll get about 30 minutes of flying out of it. So let me jump on the bench and kind of go through some of the specs and show you this up close and talk about why I think this is so interesting. So let's start off with the quad. This quad is quite a cute looking thing. Underneath it has a downward facing camera that gives you both a position hold mode, an angle mode and an acro mode as well. Not running beta flight interestingly or anything like iNav, it's running its own firmware. That does mean that if you wanted to potentially get into it and have a play, this isn't going to be the kit for you. Other manufacturers who've built these all in one kits that come in a little case like this have offered different different versions of either beta flight or setups like this where it's all self-contained and for those who don't want to get into computers and messing around it's good that you have the option where it just all works out the box. Heatsink on the bottom for cooling that is going to get warm in operation. The real nice thing about this is the way that the battery locks in. I know some people don't like proprietary batteries, lots of the DJI product does. It does mean that they can fit an awful lot of battery in the available space that they have and build the batteries that actually go along with this little quad. And it's going to give you about 10 minutes of flight time once it's locked in place. There is also a spare top for the quad. So if any of this gets broken through either a little bit of roughness or part of a crash, you can just swap it out by undoing a couple of screws. Spares availability outside of that single spare that's in the box will be important. The ability to buy spare everything for this little quad, particularly if it's aimed at beginners, is going to be one of the crucial things because this, if it's in a beginner's hands, is going to get really beat up. Next thing to talk about then is a little bit more about the batteries. These are little custom batteries that fit in as part of the quad. The specs here is that these are lithium ion 2S8 40 milliamp hour batteries. Charging time should be less than about 20 minutes in the supplied charger and they'll give you roughly 10 minutes of flight time. In addition to the three batteries that are part of the kit, there's also the battery here for the goggles. This is very similar. They all seem to have this same setup where a brief press and then a long press powers it on, but a brief press will show you the battery status on the four little LEDs at the side. With a supplied cable, this is what you plug into your goggles. Nice that you don't have to buy anything else. Absolutely everything is in the kit. Next one then to talk about is the A-Link 
controller. This is actually going to be talking Express LRS. So really happy that Cadix are keeping with the popular choices in the hobby. Potentially that also means that you could use your own third party radio with this kit or even take this radio with you into other pieces. Be interested to see how it's supported moving forward in making sure that the Express LRS system on here is dateable and accessible to tweak things. It's 2.4 gigahertz. Maximum power on this thing is 100 milliwatts. 10 channels. It has full bearing hall sensor joysticks. Really nice for both pinching and also for thumb operation as well. Two three position toggle switches, one latching button, two momentary buttons and one scroll wheel at the back as well. Same kind of power indicator on the front. There is a bind button here at the front and also a power button too. USB type C to power it. Um, inside is 1000 milliamp hour 1S LiPo. That should easily get you through most of a day of flying. So be aware that that LiPo of course isn't interchangeable, which means that make sure it's charged before you start your day of flying around. Dimensions are 158 by 108 by 58 millimeters. Weight is about 180 grams. The quad, just for those of you who are interested, let me just stick it actually on a set of scales. I know I'll get asked this. This is way, way under the 250 gram limit if that's important to you. Last thing to talk about then is the actual goggles themselves. These really look like the goggles L, the kind of goggles that I've got here that I use with my walk snail avatar head tracking system. And I really love these. I think they're a fantastic piece of kit and actually for the normal avatar system, a great way to get into it. They do also offer the ability to have custom optics in here via a frame insert. So if you can't focus on it, then there is an option for you. Transmission resolution from the new HDFPV system is either 1080p or 720p, 60 frames a second. Maximum transmission rate is about 50 megabits per second. Minimum latency they're advertising is 32 milliseconds. Using LHCP antennas internally, just like the goggles L, eight channels. The screen itself in here is a 1080p screen running at 60 hertz. Beautiful screen, very similar to the one that's in the goggles L. LCD, it's about four and a half inches. It makes it very, very clear. In fact, I prefer the image in this to the more sophisticated goggles X. Input voltage is 6 to 25.2 volts, but you're going to use it with the supplied battery for most of the time. And the SD card slot is at the top to support up to 256 gigs. Everything is already bounced. It comes out of the box. So all you have to do is power on your radio, power on your goggles, slap a battery into the back of the quad, and you are away. So as I said in the beginning, I think Walks in are kind of burying the leads a little bit. This is actually a beautiful set of kit. The way it's put together is very nice and it has a kind of a, a DJI style feel to it, but not in a bad way. All the bits seem to be really well put together. The fact we're using Express LRS is great. The fact we have the new uh, Ascent system here, which is what I think this all is. The fact that the quad has got kind of custom firmware on it to make it as easy as possible fly for somebody who is brand new but also be able to them to extend is all nice stuff. However, I think the big news here is that it is the new Ascent system. The new goggles, the new VTX do mean that this is our first look at what is going to be coming from Walksnail in the near future. They have already teased this. If you frequent places like Instagram, there was this post a couple of days ago. So they're already letting us know that it's out there. If I can get my hands on it, I will and have a play. I'm excited that Walksnail are continuing to invest in the HDFPV technology. Sounds from what I understand, and again, this is kind of third hand I'm getting this. They've designed the new ASICs and technology kind of from the ground up for the new Ascent system that's in here um, that will potentially give them a platform to continue to invest in that. It's not a replacement, I'm being told, for Avatar, but it means that for cute little quads like this, it's a great option as well as potentially some stuff that could be coming in the future. It potentially looks like in that image, that's a new set of goggles. If I get my hands on those, I will do videos on that too. However, if you have any other questions over the coming weeks i'm going to continue to finish my full flight review of this i simply haven't had enough time to feel confident enough to talk about it like that i think lots of us have only had it a handful of days maybe other people have maybe managed to get a little bit more flying time on theirs 
But if you leave a question down below, I'll collect them up. I'll try and liaise with Warp Snail and see what we can find out so that when I do my full flight review video of this, I can kind of cover as many of those as I can. So that's the new system. Cool. But like I said, I think they've kind of buried the lead. This, I think, is our first look at their brand new Ascent HDFPV system. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.